Across the globe, environmental issues dominate today's headlines. In response, nations, companies, and everyday people are changing the way we do things to help preserve and protect our world for the future. I'm Greg Gumbel. Whether it's cleaner air, sustainable development, or energy efficiency, join me as we span the globe to bring you the stories that truly matter. Welcome to our planet. Whether it's chemicals, acid runoff, or just plain neglect, fresh water has become an increasingly rare commodity. Let's see how this is changing. Since pre-Roman times, civilizations have depended on a supply of fresh water and the elimination of their wastewater. Much of America's underground pipe infrastructure is actually quite old, some of it dating back to the pre-Civil War era. Needless to say, a lot of this infrastructure is reaching the end of its effective life and needs to be addressed. The cost of complete replacement would be prohibitive. A solution is needed that will seal and extend the working life of legacy pipe infrastructure, keeping in mind that much of this system handles potable water and all of it is environmentally sensitive. One company has developed just such a solution. Here at Warren Environmental, we developed a non-toxic structural epoxy for aging infrastructure, water pipes, sewer pipes, seagoing vessels, and storage chemical vessels and fuel tanks. It's a non-toxic solution that not only combats corrosive environments, but also restores structural value to aging infrastructure, and it's currently being used all over the world. Epoxy is often used to form an impermeable barrier and thus effectively waterproof old leaking pipes, treatment plants, manholes, and tunnels. Unlike brick or cement, epoxy is non-porous and its smooth finish doesn't allow bacteria to adhere to the inner surfaces of sewage systems which would inhibit the rate of flow. So I've been working with uh, Warren Environmental for over 20 years. Uh, they performed the project for me about 20 years ago and it's still in service today. It's, it's holding up very well. Warren Environmental's epoxy bonds well to damp or moist surfaces, extending the lifespan and increasing the durability of the structure. The product's quick curing properties result in less downtime for the treated structure. No solvents are used to thin out the epoxy during application, thanks to the company's unique patented spray system. Solvents are used to thin a product so it can pass through spray nozzles, but those very solvents need to degrade the epoxy coating before it has even begun its work, as well as creating a toxic atmosphere for workers. We can apply the coating uh, in one pass up to an inch thick. It's structurally reinforcing as well as waterproofing. Uh, it's been tested in universities and test houses around the world, in Europe, America and Australia, with excellent results. The company's epoxy solutions can withstand high hydrostatic pressure making it ideal for applications involving the high volume transfer of liquids. Once cured, the epoxy possesses its own structural integrity and thus it can repair gaps in the infrastructure such as missing bricks, large cracks or bottoms that have rotted out. For underground applications and other tightly enclosed spaces, its low flame and low odor properties meet OSHA safety standards for confined space work. Back in 2003, the campus was measuring the output of the water flow of the campus, which exceeded the input. Upon discovery, we found that our sewage drainage problems were leaking. We contacted Warren Environmental Epoxy and found that through lining the pipes and lining the manholes, we were able to save $1.5 million of water usage. The nation's infrastructure in the U.S. and abroad is in dire straits. It's in desperate need of restoration with time-proven quality products that aren't harmful for the environment or the workers. The Warren Environmental product was developed based around new technologies that are not harmful for the environment or for the worker, and they have a track record of over 20 years, and the expected life is well over 100 years in buried infrastructure. 